Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Uh, today, I am happy to announce that I am back to reading solely horror novels until, uh, until Halloween, I guess. So, uh, for the longest time, this, this story has some relevance as far as this review is concerned. For the longest time, I had stopped reading a whole lot of horror, period. Um, the only horror that I was consuming was uh, literary horror or horror released by the bigger companies like um, say a Nick Cutter novel here and there. Um, I try, uh, I can't even think of any of that's that's how I tried some Josh Mailerman, uh, those those types. Uh, Paul Tremblay, I tried those. Um, but I was, I finally decided I'm done with the indie small press market um, or even going back through my old horror paperbacks. The reasoning for this is not only because the new indie stuff isn't anywhere near as good as say like the old Leisure and Zebra um, paperbacks but at least not in editing wise. Um, fantastic covers most mostly um, but the, something, something missing with the editing. Uh, but recently I checked out a book by Tim Meyer, Mayer, Meyer, I think it's Meyer, um, called The Switch House, which I enjoyed. It's a small press release. It might even be independent. I'm not sure. Um, and also some of Hunter Shea's work, uh, like Jurassic Florida and uh, the Mail Order Massacre series, uh, We Are Always Watching, and pretty good releases. So I decided to go ahead with the run up to Halloween I decided I would go through my extensive paperback horror collection and just pick out some stuff to read before Halloween. Well my first one was Joyride by Stephen Cry. This was a fun experience. Um, I gave it three stars on uh, on Goodreads and mainly because I had a lot of fun with it. Now there is a, a lot of repetition of words here um, he uses a lot of adverbs. Uh, when Stephen King, <laughs> the, the famous Stephen King quote, the road to hell is paved in adverbs, he's talking about books like this. Um, it's, it's written in a purple prose that doesn't fit the subject matter. This is basically an ode to uh, Friday the 13th and Halloween. In fact, on the back it says, more horrifying than Halloween, more grisly than Friday the 13th. Um, no, <laughs> it's neither one of those things, but it is a fun read. The thing is, is a lot of this book is written like erotica or old gothic literature, and it just doesn't fit the subject matter. Um, it, it'd be like somebody, you know, uh, somebody writing a romance in, in the tone of like a noir. It, it just, it doesn't fit. I have a wasp in here, and I'm scared. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> and he's he's chilling on the wall now. I'll, I'll deal with him after the video. But Joyride was a joy to read, uh, and even when it was bad, it was good because it was so much fun. Because it was so cheesy. So I don't really have too much more to say about this. If you're looking for a gnarly, gory, at times cheesy, stupid horror romp, this is the book for you. Um, I don't know if it's even still in publication, but if you find it while you're out and about in a secondhand shop, pick it up. Yeah, I wouldn't say spend more than three dollars on it, so keep that in mind. But it is fun, so three stars. I'll leave my link to the I'll leave the link to my Goodread review down in the doobly doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.